Let's lift our voices in song. Praise the name of Jesus. Would you join me right now at one time and just say, praise the Lord, would you do it? Can you hear me or you just don't want to do it? Would you say, praise the Lord with me one time? Praise the Lord. Amen. Would you do it again? Praise the Lord. Well, praise the name. Please open them to the 46th Psalm. I am aware that this was written by David in his times of distress and God's mighty blessings. But I would like to apply this scripture this morning to the church. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. Therefore, Will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, there is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her, and that right early. The American Standard Version reads, God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her at the dawning of the morning. We stand this morning in the presence of our wonderful God. How we adore Him and how much we love Him. We confess and acknowledge that we are only sinners, saved by grace. Let us bow our heads and ask for His guidance and His help. Our Heavenly Father, we adore You this morning 
We acknowledge thee as the sovereign God, as the head of the church. We confess and acknowledge we are only sinners saved by the love and the grace of God. For you brought us out of darkness into this marvelous light. You have washed us from our sins. You have cleansed us by your precious blood. You have poured out of the Holy Spirit upon us. Now we give thanks to you for thy guidance the past week. And as we stand here in your presence now, look thou upon us, lay your hand upon us, anoint us with thy presence, O my Father, and let thy Holy Spirit go with us. For you said, I will never leave you, nor will I abandon you, but I will pray the Father that he will send to you the paraclete, the guide, the comforter, the blessed Holy Spirit. Breathe upon us, O thou living God. Lay your mighty hand upon us and glorify thyself in us. Take us by the hand as we go forth from this place and guide us with thy presence and glorify thyself in us. For thou art our God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jesus, Jesus, oh Jesus, there's just something. We praise your holy name this morning. We praise you this morning, Lord. Glory to your holy name forevermore. Glory to your holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I heard an old, old story. How the Savior came from glory. How he gave his life on Calvary.
wonderful name of Jesus. I'm going to bless that wonderful name of Jesus. I'm going to bless that wonderful name. Man, you may be seated. How many of you saw the Visual Project 2000 last night? Let me see your hand. We only had 500 of the cassette available, and they went immediately. We made provision for you to order this video cassette. The ushers should be in the aisles right now, giving you a card. You'd like a card, you'd like to order Project 2000 for only $20. Not only should every church have this part of history, but every family in the Church of God to share with their children and children's children this special occasion. So if you would just raise your hand, ushers would help you on this Project 2000, and you can order this, this visual. After the next song, we will end with the memorial service, which is always a very special time in our General Assembly. There should be a booklet in remembrance in your chair when you came in or was in your packet, and we would call your attention to this booklet following the next song. Be blessed by the marvelous tenor voice of Richard Ellis from Indian Rocks, Florida, Harvest Temple Church of God. Let's worship the Lord as he leads us in worship in a song right now. Richard Ellis. I can sing a song, testimony of the healing in my son. He was healed seven years ago of spinal meningitis. This song says, I know he heard my prayer. A cloud have passed away I see the light of day the sun is shining through is spelling gloom with hallelujah I know that this is real or in my heart I feel that my Savior heard my heart The future day, the fiery trials play. When Satan comes to me to take away my victory, I can point him to the time when 
heaven's light did shine, I can say, I know he heard my prayer. I know he heard my prayer. He knows my every care. He gives to me the blessed victory. Would brother and sister Paul Jones, Ronnie and his wife, please come behind the stage and meet with Walter Atkinson. Now for our memorial service. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley and the shadows of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou hast prepared the table before me in the presence of my enemies, thou anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. When Earth's last picture is painted, and the tubes are twisted and dried. When the oldest colors have faded and the youngest critic has died, we shall rest and faith, we shall need it. Lie down for an eon or two till the master of all good workmen shall put us to work anew. And those that were good shall be happy, they shall sit in a golden chair. They shall splash at a 10-league canvas with brushes of comet's hair. They shall find real saints to draw from, Magdalene, Peter, and Paul. They shall work for an age at a sitting and never be tired at all. 
And only the master shall praise us, and only the master shall blame. And no one shall work for money, and no one shall work for fame. But each for the joy of the working, and each in his separate star, shall draw the thing as he sees it, for the God of things as they are. The Holy Spirit spoke great words of comfort through the writings of the Apostle Paul. First Corinthians chapter 15. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a flash, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we shall be changed. For the perishable must clothe itself with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality. When the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality, then the saying that is written will come true. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my dear brothers, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. The General Executive Committee wishes to express our condolences upon the loss of your loved ones. Faithful ministers and fellow laborers in the Church of God, may the Holy Spirit comfort you. May the abiding presence of our Lord give you strength to carry on in faith and trust. And may each day bring assurance of our God's love and promise redemption for all his faithful children. We share your loss and we look with you in faith to God's promise reunion. In 2 Corinthians 5 and 1, for we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. 1 Peter 1 and 3, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. On the basis of faith represented by these scriptures, we herewith honor fellow laborers who since the last General Assembly of the Church of God have been promoted from this earthly realm into the throne room of God. These are giants of the faith, men and women who fought well, who suffered much, who endured with patience the race which was set before them, and who have now entered God's holy city, New Jerusalem. Of many of these who have passed on, we can say, as did the writer of Hebrews, the world was not worthy. Of all we can affirm, God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Theirs is the great and final triumph. We honor their coronation. We hallow their memory and we pray for grace to walk worthily in their steps. At the same time, we sympathize with loved ones left behind. We know your grief is genuine. We know your loneliness is real, and your pain keeps returning. You discover your loss over and again. Even this moment stirs up your hurt. Nevertheless, please know we're with you. We're with you in the bonds of Christ. We're with you in the fellowship of God's Holy Spirit. 
We're with you in the unity of this church. Let us pray. My Heavenly Father, comfort these your children. Wrap them in your love. Hallow their memories with your presence and make real the connection which we know exists between the earthly and the eternal body of Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Now the names of those heroes of the faith will be projected as Brother Hart reads the list. God bless you. Artis Taff Allen, W. W. Ball, Kirby B. Bass, I. H. Beard, A. V. Bobby, Donald A. Biggs, Gilbert Earl, Earl Blair, Edmund Butcher, L. T. Bolin, Ralph A. Boyles, Frank Eugene Bradley, Victor Thomas Brewer, J.W. Brummett, Lowell D. Burton, J.B. Cole, C.W. Collins, Pearl S. Collins, Ernest E. Combs, Walter C. Connor, Marvin Braven, Thomas Lloyd Cruz, Clarence G. Crutcher, W. C. Cudd, Jesse Danehauer, Louis Henry Dio, J. E. Dement, Ray Ishmael Doris, W. E. Dowdy, James Duff, Charles Albert. Duncan, Harold J. Donovan, William J. Edgar, Sam W. Edmonds, Doc Gilson Ganey, E. G. Gilbert, W. P. Gosnell, Jr., Vincent B. Grassano, Olin A. Great House, Ara Earl Hamilton, V.G. Helms, Vernon Hibbert, Archie Wesley Hicks, R.R. R. Holland, J.G. Halk, A.V. Howell, O'Neill Hughes, Robert D. Humberson, H. M. Hunt, Herbert A. Johnson, Benjamin J. Jones, Earl William Lane, Foley Reese Lael, Gilbert Alman Lewis, Ewing Long, R. E. Lavelle, Noel Woodrow Lowe, J.W. Manis, Walter C. Malton, C.E. Maccabee, J.L. McCoy, Frankie McDonald, D.W. Mills, W.E. Mitchell, Elman Lee Moore, James Benjamin Morris, P.G. Pearson, Harry Vance Perkins, John G. Perry, P. S. Philippos, Earl Thomas Potts, W. H. Preston, Otis Riggs, Angel M. Rivera, Alfonso C. Serrato, Thomas K. Shoemaker, Mallory Smith, John Henry Solomon, John 
Vandiver, Chester N. Steele, W. A. Tapley, Zeno C. Tharp, O. W. Thomas, U. D. Tidwell, Alan Tomlin, J. L. Underwood, Clay H. Vance, Mock Cleo Vassa, Clarence H. Webb, S. B. Webb, W. S. Williamson, John Rao Woodard, Ben A. Woodring, Hoka Mook, Herbert G. Russell, Michael P. Downey, A. G. Arscott, James Richard Brown, Hugo Ariel Heron Mendez, B. G. Asher, Annie V. Bishop, W. L. Bloomfield, Willie Brown, Huey Lee Bishop, Harlan Barry Carroll, Clarence J. Carroll, J. M. Searcy, Doris A. Combs, James Daniel Cooper, Gladys W. Crawford, Archie L. Cross, Roy Lee Crumley, William Julius Curry, Nona Dane, Herman P. Davis, Benjamin Harper DeLay, Leroy A. DeWitt, Theodore Dix, Titus Eford, James T. Emerson, Norris E. Ford, John Carroll Campbell, Flora Goins, Clifford H. Graham, Nettie Hall, Homer Arnold Hancock, Emmeline Hannah, Geraldine Hardeman, C.S. Hardeman, Winston Hargis, Earl W. Hatcher, Annie Laura Hutto, Randall Arundel Carl Jeffers, James Red Jenkins, William Morris Jones, Everett L. Lambert, John R. Lindsay, Other P. McMichael, J. Roosevelt Miller, Edna Miller, George D. Moore, Bertha R. Moreno, E. J. Nessum, Ron A. Norton, Sophia Petroselli, Clavin Ellis Raglan, Alonzo Rash, Alvin M. Rasmussen, Nina May Reeves, James B. Robison, Elsie H. Savage, Ellie Sheffield, Bertha A. Shefflett, Nelson L. Sims, Billy T. Sizemore, Daniel N. Slay, Ella D. Smallwood, Roy Franks Standifer, Juna P. Smith, Roy D. Stevens, James L. Todd, Henry Mosley Tuck, Catherine Turpin, Lester Lee Valroth, Odell U. Wagoner, Jesse L. Walden, James L. Walker, William L. Warner, Arnold Warren, Hardy A. Wingate, Eric Donald Bailey, Jephthah H. Armbrister, Annie V. Hodge, Stafford H. Pender, Joseph, or Jose Acosta, 
Louise Barnes, Clyde Winford Boyd, Nelson Thomas Brooks, James Roland Carlton, Kristen Clark, Lydia Louise Coburn, Raymond Doyle Cooper, Myrtle Fay Craddock, James Calvin Daniels, Dewey William Garner, P. A. Gordon, Juanita Hammonds, or Lunita Hammonds, Jewel Marie Harmon, Carl Jackson Jesse, Maud Ann Johnson, Milo Lee, Alma Lewis, Bessie E. Mason, Hubert McClellan, Herbert James Mobley, Lim G. Moon, Roy Brooks Outlaw, Herbert H. Priest, George W. Rentals, William T. Rogers, Essie Scott, Lily May Self, Annie M. Srabel, Dovey Equilla Smith, William Mehron Smith, Julian Taylor Jr., Leela May Thomason, Mercedes Torres, Verdi Walker, Opal T. Warren, Garen Don Wheeler, Emma L. White, James Edward Williams, Herman Leroy Wright, Jeffrey Lance Young, Boyd Wilson, Soraka Menciano Go, Nectar Valdez Norino.
time with just the voices, with just the voices. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I Sammy Oxendine from East Coast Bible College is going to sing right now and minister to us in song. Would you open your hearts to receive from the Lord as they sing right now? Covenant. As we've let our loved ones go on to glory, we're thankful for the fact that he is to be praised. And on this Sunday of General Assembly, I think it's incumbent upon us as Christians for all that God has done to allow the praise to come forth to God Almighty. Worship with us as we sing this song, Let the Praise Come Forth. There are times when battles come that overwhelm the soul. It seems that all is lost and hope is gone. But God has spoken in His Word to give thanks in everything. So lift your voice to Him and sing a song. And let the praise come forth. The Holy One be magnified forever. A sacrifice of praise. day of final victory comes and earth's goals fade away when mortal takes on immortality we will cast our crowns at jesus feet for all eternity then we'll lift our voice in everlasting song Holy One be magnified for 